Since very early on in this country, American women have been fighting for equality, the right to vote, all the way through equality and pay. We can still continue that fight today. In 1928, my grandmother Faye was born. She became a nurse, and I asked her once why she decided to become a nurse, and she told me it was because she had a choice, basically at that time, to be a nurse, a teacher, or a housewife. And she thought she'd get, get, be more adventure if she became a nurse. Looking up data at that time of what women made based off what a man made, there really isn't any facts for that time. But in 1954, she had a daughter, my mom, Carolyn. At that time, in 1954, women made approximately 64% of what a man made. My mother also became a nurse, but before she had that opportunity, the Equal Pay Act of 1963 was passed by John F. Kennedy. It was a, a bill that made it illegal for an employer to pay a woman less than a man just based off her sex. So my mother had more opportunities to get paid the same as a man when she became of age and decided to become a nurse. In 1978, she had me. And um, at that time, a woman made 60% of what a man made. Since the Equal Pay Act was established in 1963, the wage gap of versus men versus women has been closing. And it has been closing at a rate of about a half a penny every year. So every two years, a woman earns a penny more. We get closer to closing that gap. So it takes two years to earn a penny more. In 2007, I had a daughter. Her name is Michaela. And at that time, the women made 77% of what a man makes. Michaela, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a cowgirl or a rock star or a veterinarian. Very good. Unfortunately, when my daughter becomes of age and she decides to be whatever she decides to be, she will not get paid the same as a man. Because based on what the women, excuse me, according to the Institute of Women's Policy Research, it will not be until the year 2058 when this gap eventually does close and we become equal. Yes, the year 2058. Since the year 1963, we have been fighting, women have been fighting for equality and was earned at that time. Today, in the year 2014, we continue that fight. And we President Obama put up a, a Paycheck Fairness Act. It was supposed to make it so that employers had to produce the earnings of what men and women in their company earned. And it also made it illegal for employers to um, penalize workers, employees, if they spoke about what they earned to each other. It was not passed. Um, Republicans blocked it. They said that we already have legislation, that there is already legislation against discrimination, and that the, um, the, the, this law would be redundant. And it's true, we already have dis laws on discrimination, but unfortunately, we are obviously still not equal. And waiting until the year 2058 for it to become equal is just very wrong. And so we do need to keep fighting. In April of 2014, um, Obama decided to sign um, an executive order to prevent workplace discrimination. And this was, so he didn't need any Congress or Senate to pass, but it was to make it um, harder for um, employers to discriminate based on sex. Um, since this country was founded, women have been fighting um, for a deserved equality. Absolutely nothing has been given to women. It has been fought for. So why do women get paid less? Um, they take lower paying jobs. They take time off to have families. So if they take a time off to have children and raise their family, whether it's 5, 10, 15 years, and go back to the job that they had, um, it will be almost like they're starting over. Um, men continue on if they don't stay home with their families. Men continue on and move up in a company. And women who leave their jobs to have children and raise their families go back to a job that might not exist anymore or they might be um, 
not educated for it uh, anymore, have the experience. So they basically have to start over. Um, like my grandmother Faye and my mother Carolyn, um, who have led the fight, we continue to look to the past to help women of the future, like my daughter Michaela, who should be able to focus on her dreams, knowing she will be paid based on her knowledge and not her sex. Thank you.